Hi, I'm Grant. This is Dad Crafted, Blog One. Notebook full of notes, so let's get going. So, why do this? Um, and when I say this, it's really why do the website, why make the videos. Basically, I, I love making stuff. I've liked making stuff for, I don't know, a long time. There's an about page on the website that kind of explains this a little bit. Um, I like to write, I like to make things. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while and this was just kind of a way really to release my creative energy. Um, I've been making things for my kids, but also for my family, my wife. We, we bought an old house. Again, we bought two old houses and kind of redone them. So. I really wish I would have started this three years ago when we bought this house because we've done a lot, but um, I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll do a lot more still. But anyway, really I'm doing this because uh, I want to show that it's not that difficult to make these things. Uh, most of the stuff that I make is pretty simple. I I probably got more tools than the average person maybe maybe I don't know. The planers are new to me and that's probably not an average tool that most people use, but. We're gonna see that in some of the videos here coming up, I hope. But really, I just wanna show that this isn't that difficult, that with YouTube, um, you can pretty much figure anything out and hopefully you'll make, you'll see me make some cool stuff and maybe, even if you don't copy the things that I do, I hope that that will inspire people, inspire you, whoever's watching this, to make things yourself and to create some other cool things. So that's kind of the goal here. Um, I was gonna be making this stuff anyway, uh, so, why not make some videos and why not share it as we go? And with the website, really, it's, it's a way for me to create things, uh, not necessarily to show it off, but to show how. And, and with that, when you put things out there into the internet, Facebook, Instagram, um, you do kind of put yourself out there. So it, that, that's been, that probably delayed me a little bit and just kind of the reaction of, you know, Am I going to get made fun of here? Are people going to think this is stupid? But um, honestly, the, the reaction so far has been awesome. Uh, everybody has been super supportive. Everybody has been really great in all the comments that I've seen on social media. So um, I hope more people see it. The you know When you start off something like this, you hope things are going to go crazy. But it's like, I don't know, I have dozens of followers. But hopefully that kind of goes up as, as time moves on. So we'll see how it goes. My hope is that this vlog will really just be kind of a monthly update. I don't know the frequency I'm going to do. I'm going to say monthly, but just a, a monthly update of what's going on, um, what I'm working on, what I did work on, just, and mainly talk about um, maybe what I learned. Um, the videos that I put out on YouTube will probably be more just like a quick shot. You see me moving really fast in most of those, but um, just kind of quick shots into, into the process and how I did things. And then here, I'll probably talk a little bit more detail about kind of what went wrong, what I learned, how I could have done things differently. Um, and I'll probably link to some of the things I've done over the past few weeks, whatnot. Um, so that's kind of my hope for this. And then just, it'll give me a chance to kind of rant also about other things that are going on, uh, pop culture stuff I'm into, geek stuff I'm into, the music I listen to in the shop while I do this, podcasts I listen to. So just an extra platform for me to talk about what I like and that sort of thing. So the main topic for this vlog is really just getting started. Um, that's kind of my title here, just getting started, but it's really twofold. One in that I'm just getting started, hopefully, that this is just the beginning of something that's gonna, you know, be a hobby and be something cool for a while, but also just getting started in that, what does it take to just get started? Um, there's been a lot to kind of stand this up and you know, I, this probably goes back even into last spring where I had kind of an epiphany one day of like, I should really try to push the woodworking thing and making stuff and just see what I can do with it. And then it evolved kind of over time into listening to more podcasts, seeing more of the stuff on Instagram, on social media, um, seeing what's out there and kind of getting motivated and inspired through that. Um, but also just beyond the inspiration, um, I've had a few friends approach me for like some commission things like, you should build me this and I'll pay you for it. And I was like, really, I, you'd pay me? Um, 
but then that just kind of triggered like, well, I probably could do some of this stuff as just as like a side hustle. Um, and then just evolving over, maybe not going to get into the thing where I, I really make the same thing over and over again. Um, I've made a lot of cornhole boards in the past. I'll probably do some sets in the spring or maybe before football season next year, but I probably don't want to get into the into an area where I'm building the same thing over and over again. I really want to try to kind of expand and do different things and kind of get into as many different things as I can. Um, but going back to just getting started, really, it was once I had the inspiration and knew I was going to do it, I kind of just did a brain dump of everything that you could think of that I would need to start a website, to do a YouTube channel, to do an Instagram page. So. Finding a name was one thing and trying to figure out what that was. And I knew I wanted to make it um, dad related just because, I don't know, um, I love being a dad. I love my kids. I love my wife. I really enjoy being a dad and, and making things for my family and kind of seeing their joy when something that I built with my two hands kind of actually comes to fruition and actually turns out well. Um, so that I knew was going to be a big part of this, um, and that was kind of the theme. And then it was just, well, what do you name it? What website URLs are open? There were a few that I that maybe I wanted that I looked at, and they wanted like twelve thousand dollars. Not going to do that. So Dad Crafted was one that I was sure was going to be gone, um, and I had it in my head for a few weeks. And finally, on a Friday night, I just checked, and and sure enough, there it was, and it was open. So I bought it, and. Uh, went through just trying to figure out how to stand up a website and all the steps that go with that. And then from there it was kind of a logo. Um, and then how am I going to videotape things? How am I going to, what software should I buy? How do you edit in that software? Um, so there was just a lot of different steps to kind of start. So it was a several month process just before I could get something live and then say to the world, here it is. And even there it was kind of like, at what point do you tell people about it? Do you, do you wait until it's perfect? Do you wait until you've got like a dozen or more videos out there? But really I just wanted to get like a couple out just to start and say it's here, let people know about it. And then hopefully it just, it can evolve and change. I learned a lot just from starting to record. Um, I did a shelving project and I, just a closet shelving project and I recorded everything on there and when I went to put the video together into software, I really, it became apparent like how bad I was at it. Um, and then I did another one where I brewed a home batch of beer. Um, I'm a celiac, so I have to make my own beer to have beer that's actually drinkable. Um, but I, I videoed that process. And then again, when I put that together, it was like, you didn't, you talked about this, but you didn't film any of it. So watching a video of me talking like I'm doing right here, wasn't that entertaining. So, um, really just kind of learning from those first couple tries. And then before I got into something like, uh, the, the bird feeder that I did for my mom for her birthday. So that, that goes back even, I started making that thing in probably July, end of July. Um, videotaping that process, uh, was definitely a learning experience and then taking, you know, hours of footage and then trying to whittle it down into something that's less than 15 minutes that you think people will watch. Um, and even that I've probably got a ways to go. I think I'm better now. I get better every time I make a video, but it's still kind of hard to determine like what the right amount is. I mean, nobody wa wants to watch me sand for 10 seconds even. So when you, when you really need to show a step that you did something, what's the right amount? Is it one second? Is it five seconds? But sanding's boring. I don't like doing it. So why would I want to watch anybody do it? One other thing I did was record music for this. I, I played guitar since I was in college and I've never ever tried to record myself. Um, so I did for this. So the music that you hear in the videos, which obviously isn't the best sound quality because it's just a cheap microphone I bought off Amazon, and me playing an acoustic guitar in front of it. But um, that's me playing and I try to record when my family's not here because it's loud and the, that microphone does pick up anything. So if someone's talking two rooms away, um, it shows up on there, so that's that's the other thing. Whenever I record voiceovers or music or anything, I, I kind of have to do it either really early in the morning, and in the case of the music, it has to be when just people are here. So I'll wake everybody up if they're sleeping, but um, 
so yeah, and figuring out what software to use to record music and then trying to get the settings right so it doesn't sound like it's underwater, just kind of another thing that I had to do to get this up and running. Logo. The logo is another thing, so um, not video editing software, but photo editing software. There's a program called GIMP. It's free, and I've used it in the past when I was making some homebrew labels, uh, but trying to just figure out how to work that again and all the tricks that you can do with that, like bending text or um, you know rotating images or, or kind of morphing images. Um, so trying to get a logo and even mine, I'm, I'm not happy with. I keep changing it and I don't like any of my results, but just trying to get a logo that kind of looks like a comic book where like think of the amazing Spider-Man covers where the, the, the text bends and trying to get that to look good and look in 3D. Um, I probably spent hours on that and still not happy with where I'm at, but again, it's another thing that can hopefully evolve over time. Um, so that's everything that, that it took really to stand this thing up. Um, Project-wise, if you haven't seen my YouTube channel, uh, I hope you subscribe. I'm trying to get a base there, um, and I don't know the frequency that I'll put things out. I would like to think I can get a couple a month, um, but we'll see how it goes. You know, it, like I said, as I was building this up, I was backloading. So now that now that I'm live, it's kind of hard to tell how fast I'll be able to crank things out. But I'm, I'm definitely spending way more time on the video side editing things than I actually am in the shop out here building stuff. Which is probably not ideal, but um, what else would I be doing? Probably watching the TV show that I'm gonna forget about in a week anyway, so I might as well be creating something cool that other people might enjoy. Aside from the projects that are out on my YouTube channel right now, um, I'm hoping now that I've done a couple night lights for the kids and I did one house project uh, where I did the, the stairway carpet runners that we bought at Target and actually put some carpet down on the stairs, now I'm hoping to get back into the garage and do some shop projects. Um, so I've made a table saw sled recently. I've made an air compressor cart. I'm doing some other smaller, just handy tools that are kind of jigs and accessories to help me kind of be more efficient or be safer in the shop. And then um, with Christmas coming up, I'm really trying to get into some cutting boards and some other things that are probably gonna be gifts for some folks. So I won't elaborate too much into that, but um, if you follow me on Instagram, you're probably seeing this stuff already anyway. Uh, that's another social media site that I wish all of you would follow me on. Um, I try to post there at least daily to kind of show what I'm doing. And then kind of beyond that after Christmas, uh, I've got a whole list. I've got, a, there's an app called Airtable that I use to kind of track projects. If you don't use it and you want to get kind of organized in your life, I highly recommend it. But um, that's one thing where I really want to uh, I've got a list of 150 things, so trying to figure out what's next and, and what else I can do is probably difficult, but one big thing I need to do is insulate the ceiling of my garage. Uh, right now, if you can see my breath, it's because it's really cold out here because there is no heater. I have a garage heater, I just haven't put it in because the ceiling isn't insulated yet. I've got about a quarter of the way done and I need to keep going and I should have done it in October or even September. But here we are in December and it's 20 degrees outside and it's probably not much warmer than that in here. So that's one thing I'm working on so I can really crank the heat up in this shop and keep things going all winter long. So I think that's it as far as my projects. As far as what I'm into right now, again, I haven't been watching a lot of TV lately because of all of this and trying to get this ready, but um, one, thing's I've, one thing I've been watching with the boys is the, the new Star Wars cartoon, Star Wars Resistance. Um, I'm not sure how big a fan I am of that yet. We've watched like three episodes together. I'm not a big fan of the main character. I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work, but hopefully it gets better as the, the season moves on. Um, there's also a new YouTube channel out, Star Wars Kids, that's got some little like one minute, one and a half minute, um, animated features and it's got the audio from the original trilogy but they've kind of redrawn all the characters and cartoons but check that out um i've only watched a few of them but it's it's they're really short but it's really cool i like the animation and that a lot um as far as music i'm into right now um there's a new gregory allen isakoff record i think that's how you say his last name isakoff isakoff um but i'm a big fan of his he hasn't put out a record since i think right the year the boys were born so it's been like five years um but 
big fan of that record. At the first listen, I was like, eh, but then it, it really grew on me, and I've pretty much had that on repeat for the last few weeks. And we saw him live at Woolies a few weeks ago, and it was awesome. Um, also, uh, Camp, C-A-A-M-P, is a new band that I've discovered recently, and they are fantastic. Lots of acoustic music, if you're into that, like I am. Guitar and banjo. Um, good band. Hopefully they come to Iowa sometime soon. Um, and Jason Isbell's uh, live record is out, Live at the Ryman, and I've had that kind of going on repeat in the shop a lot too. Um, new music for next year, I, I, they just announced what, uh, Hayes Carl and Ryan Bingham have albums coming out the same day in February, and they've got a few new singles out, so I really, I really dig on those so far, so hopefully those albums will be good. The new Mumford & Sons record? Dudes, like, bring back the banjos. Come on, it's killing me, killing me. So, I've had a few mishaps in the shop too. Everything you see so far has been filmed on my iPhone. I have an iPhone 8. Um, the video when it's dark, or the photos when it's dark, if you have an iPhone, you know this is grainy and not the best. I wish I had a Pixel or a Samsung, but gonna make do for another year. But everything I'm, I've filmed has been on the iPhone, um, and I've, I've broken two since I started doing this. Um, I have a little tripod that I bought off Amazon, and to get better height, I've put it on trash cans or set it on the table saw or wherever I can to, to try and get a better angle. And when my boys have been out here in the shop, they've, they've knocked it over a couple times, and I lost a couple screens. So the deductible is $149, FYI if you have insurance, which I do, thankfully. So I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, I hope you do. Um, check out the website. If you have any feedback or any ideas, uh, shoot them my way. My email is listed on the footer of every page. Also a link to my Instagram and Twitter. If you wanna follow there, that'd be great. Um, and if you have any ideas for projects, like I said, I've, I've got a list a mile long, but um, that list is ever changing and just Following other people on Instagram, I always see other things that I'm just like, wow, that that is a cool thing that I could tweak and make it my own if I just change these things. Or um, I see something that's like a total geek thing from my past, like a Mario Brothers or Legend of Zelda signage or light or something, and I'm like, I could do a Legend of Zelda thing, but make it totally different and, you know, hang it up in my shop and no one would like it but me because it's pretty geeky. But anyway, I'm always looking for ideas uh, and even for commission ideas. So if anybody really wants something really bad, I've said cornhole boxes in the past. I know people have offered to pay me for them and I've never done it because I've been too busy. But um, I do want to film a cornhole project here someday. So if anybody wants one of those and they have an idea, I could definitely throw something together. Um, but aside from that, even the, the night lights I made for my kids, um, trying to think bigger beyond if anybody wants anything. You never know. I might, you know, I might squeeze you in. So anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time.